All right, guys, over one pound lighter than yesterday. And um, waking up at the same time today. So progress is being made. Yo, what is going on guys? Outside the gym, um, it's deload, it's pull day, it's gonna be deload, but it's heavy, so it's triples, it's two by threes. Um, volume's cut in half, but it's gonna be heavy, heavy, um, heavy. We're gonna be adding a bit of weight to these triples, sets of triples, than about, I don't know, six weeks ago um, from those last set of triples. So I track everything, right? Every workout. So now I went back and looked, excuse me, to see what I did on my last deload. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit more weight from last time, depending on the exercise. One, two, three percent extra load, guys. That's it, that's it. Um, anyways, volume's cut in half, so this should be a bit of a shorter workout. This whole week will be like this, so it's, it's so um, recovery, kind of like accumulative fatigue. It gives me time to recover while still training, while still adding load and progressing, but volume is cut in half, recovery, everything. Nervous system should be firing hard again in about seven to eight days. Um, just left, got a CT scan. This morning went to radiology, got a CT scan on my head. Um, everything's all right, um, I think. It's a precautionary thing. I was having like a heart attack slash head, eye, jaw, chest pain, back pain, chest pain. It would start in my, um, sorry, it would start in my chest sorry guys I'm a little bit out of it this morning um anyways i was getting pain consistently regularly it would wake me up um and yeah it started in my chest and it would move its way up to my jaw into my left eye into my head i couldn't see the last time i had it i was laying on the floor um it was the day i was going to see my surgeon for my ankle injections I was literally laying on the floor before going on the road trip, um, incapacitated guys, just wrecked. So I decided I need to get it checked. This has probably been going on for a year and a half or so, maybe two years. Um, it's so inconsistent, but it's getting stronger and stronger every time. So ruling things out maybe neurological unlikely heart's been checked i've had my heart checked i've had all those tests done blood work done so we're just doing a ct scan to check the head out make sure there's nothing in there because <laughs> we know there's nothing in there um yeah i don't think they're probably gonna find anything i don't know it's just kind of one of those things i don't know You could think it would be like an anxiety attack or something, but I don't know, man. Like, fuck, if that was the case, I'd be having fucking heart anxiety attacks every day. Like, my I work every fucking second. So, anyways, it's just like it's nonstop. Anyways, I handle stress quite well, very well. I make it work for me. Maybe there's a point to where it gives you fucking uh, heart attacks and uh, you're stroking out. I don't know. But, anyways. Also just finished a prescription last week of a very, 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 very strong um, antibiotic. Um, so over COVID as well, when I was in Guadalajara, Mexico, a um, little over a year ago now, before COVID, I had to come home because of COVID. I was there in a modeling contract and came home. Turns out this whole past year, I've had a very strong parasite destroying my insides. Um, 
you know, with COVID and everything, it was a bit difficult to get in and get tests and things of that nature. Finally got some tests done. Finally found this bugger, this uh, parasite. Um, so I was taking very strong antibiotics for 10 days, nine pills a day. Just finished that. Um, so yeah, guys, figuring out a lot of health issues, things, regardless of the head and eye and chest pain and the parasite destroying me the last six months I have done gotten so much done built the business Megan helped me build a website she helped me build my business launched a business uh, built ebooks copyrighted them became a registered author uh, got in the best shape of my life uh, you know guys my point being is you know, we're always pushing through. You never know what someone's going through. Um, don't think that I, you know, I just have it all fucking laid out and all peachy for me. You know, we all go through things. We all go through health things. We all go through emotional things, relationship things. You just gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep going. You gotta fight for yourself. Something's not right, especially in health. You gotta and and and, and um, Maybe you're getting dismissed by doctors. You got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing because you know your body. You know when something's off or not. But anyways, guys, we're we're heading out of here. Heading into the gym. Um, yeah, lots more stuff coming soon, y'all. And I'll catch you guys soon. What is going on, guys? It is pull day. It is pull strength day. It is a pull strength deload day. Um, so deload meaning volumes all cut in half. We're just gonna be working on heavy triples today. Um, hence why I have the chains going on. Uh, there's about 29 pounds in chains, and I 55 pounds uh, strapped around the waist, and we're just working on. Um, like I said, heavy sets of triples. Um, it's a deload. So all the volume's cut in half, guys. And what it's it's crucial when you're doing pull up to uh, make sure that your body stays as stiff as possible. You know, try not to jerk around too much. Um, this is honestly felt a little bit heavy. Because I didn't quite get up to the bar um, as much as that I would like to. But also, in this pull-up, like it's really working the stretch in the bottom. I am going all the way down, as you can see. Um, and on these ones, they're just body weight. This is a better idea of what a pull-up should look like. Um, the body is stiff as a board. You don't want to be swinging all over the place because you lose force through strength leaks. Say if your hips or legs are kicking all over the place, you can't stabilize properly and uh, target the working muscle so that's crucial um, when doing many exercises not just pull-ups you always need to make sure that stability is in check um, what are we going on to next we are smashing some seated rows now you can see again these are heavy just heavy triples um, on this machine, I do like to lean back a bit because there's a point on the machine. Once you get past halfway, the handles start to come down because they move on an arc and then I can feel it more in my lats as they come down. So that's kind of why I'm leaning back with a good hold there, a good pause. Um, so just two sets of those at triples and then here, um, as well, just a different angle. You can see the lats are popping. And uh, again, I lean back because there's a certain point. Once that handle gets past halfway, it starts to come down because it's moving on an axis. Um, so then it's as it's coming closer, it actually starts to come down and I can feel it more in my lats. And I'm just stronger in this position um, because we're doing heavy triples. <clears throat> so then as a little bit of a drop set, I will take some of the weight off and we'll do, I will lean forward a little bit. Um, just kind of find that sweet spot 
and you can kind of really feel this in the lats as well. So I do do a little bit of the forward lean as well, just not as strong in that position. Um, but the stretch is obviously is unreal, especially with a chest pad because um, just having your sternum against that chest pad really just helps everything stretch out in the back. And guys, if you need, if you, with any muscle, but you need to work the stretched position of muscles when you're training and that's a huge part of, a lot of people will leave gains on the table if you're not working the stretched part of the muscle now it doesn't always have to be um, you know working savagely on the stretch but you just need to realize that working specifically on basically the stretched part or the lengthened part of the muscle is crucial when it comes to building you know proper strength and quality muscle mass and we're just kind of shaking it out there it is of the utmost importance guys to keep your core basically locked down pressurized looks like we're going to give it a little bit of a go i was kind of having trouble feeling this one today usually they feel great on that slight lean but uh, i just gave it a few more reps just to see you really it's really all about the torso angle to try and find the right torso angle so now we're moving on to the extreme row um, you'll see a lot of people will do these kind of with two hands both hands at the same time which is great but what I like to do is I actually like to slide the seat all the way up and bring the chest pad all the way up um, and then I actually like to do single arm and stabilize against the seat and really get a deep stretch here on the chest and the, so the more I come up and kind of the more I come forward slide forward towards the machine then I'll be lower on the machine. The handle will be lower and I can feel it uh, more in the lat. I'm really trying to get like into the deep lower lat. Um, so that's why I do it this way. And I'm also much stronger this way. And the stretch is just that much better. Um, and we're, just, we're doing a little bit of jig, doing a bit of jig, seeing how it's going. So now, yeah, so uh, this is just two triples, guys. So two sets. Um, on each side so four sets here um, if I was doing double arm then it would just be two sets of triples but we're doing single so it's four sets of triples again just breathing breathing into the belly making sure that core is tight stabilizing against that seat and um, then just stretching working on that stretch you see this side I come up a little bit quicker a bit easier because my core is a uh, more pressurized and really just working on a dirty stretch at the bottom there you go yeah anyways moving on to a bit of a seated row here um so this one i like to do also single uh, i just feel my lats more i can stretch more i can manipulate the cables and the weight and the resistance and the stretch more when i do single arm uh specifically on back days i'll do pistol grip i'll do stretch you see me stretching out my neck shoulders really just trying to stretch that back man just stretch those muscles um, here you can see i've got that bit of that slight lean forward my head should probably be up a little bit more but um a little more neutral but really just trying to work on that trying to hit that lat it feels really good to be honest Back days, chest days, no matter what, you need to work on that stretch. You need to fall in love with stretching the muscle um, and holding it in that stress position as well in certain exercises. Here, I just do drop sets. Nothing crazy. I usually start at about 70 pounds. Uh, do about 10, 12 to 15 reps a side. Um, really just focusing on nothing else moving except for the joints that I want to move. Um, and therefore, instead of, you know, focusing on, um, what, what is it that, that everyone always says, focusing on uh, the work, you know, mind-muscle connection. I like to think of it as um, everything else is paralyzed. Nothing else moves. Work on stabilizing everything else to where nothing else moves and then in turn the correct muscles will do the work i find that's a lot better to achieve kind of the uh the um, 
mind muscle connection as they say and uh what i'm really trying to do here guys is i'm trying to bring my elbow almost around the back of my body and i'm almost externally rotating a little bit with the cable to really just try and feel it in that lat as the weight gets lighter it'll get easier um, I didn't do this clip all the way to the end, but as the weight gets lighter, it'll get easier for me to kind of, I'm really trying to bring my elbow right around my entire backside and basically like 45 degrees, um, you know, like kind of from my left ear and back towards the wall, if that makes sense. Really just trying to stretch that lat and then shorten it as much as possible. And, um, yeah, I do this for each side, every back day, actually, just because the stretch is so damn good. It feels so damn good. And uh, you can also have a little bit of a slight crunch sometimes, a little bit of a side crunch to the side that you're pulling on. Um, you may notice a little bit more lat involvement there as well, just because the lat is kind of involved with... Um, that type of a movement of a side to side crunching of the torso. Um, so you might actually feel if you have a slight crunch there as well. So yeah, guys, feel free. If you have any questions about any of these exercises ever, just comment below in the YouTube video. Let me know. Always going to be happy to help, happy to answer any questions you guys may have. And um, yeah, just keep training hard, build that back. So you can see here now, I've decided to lean back a little bit more and keep my chest high. Again, it's just different. Um, and I'm really just trying to bring my elbow around the back of my body. And I got even a little bit of that crunch I was talking about. And an underhand grip as well, so. Yeah. Last but not least, guys, we got weighted pull-ups. This is actually a pretty shitty set. Uh, my last set was much better. I got my chin and my head way over the bar, um, but I didn't record it. I'm not sure what I was doing on this set, just tired and got lazy, I guess, because my last set was much, much better. It was way tighter. I got way higher on the bar. So anyways, that is it for the training, guys. Like I said, you got any questions or comments, let me know. Comment below. Thanks for watching. What is going on guys? I hope you enjoyed this video. Just printed off 11 pages here of sides and then description of a new audition that I have to get in, not that, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So I've got a bit of time. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of, it's a great role. Really, really good role. So I gotta get to work on it. Cutting this video right here. Um, and then hopefully I can keep these, maybe these videos, videos a little bit shorter. Um, and hopefully keep getting them out because it just went from zero to a million real quick. I got this audition to work on. This is not a self tape. This is going to be in person. Um, I got my acting class, which is basically homework every single day working on that scene. Um, then I have those two short films I'm, work I'm working on that I landed the lead role. Um, and then I also have to get my agent in Toronto, uh, three mock auditions as well to have a, as a demo reel. So, yeah. I don't know guys. Anyways, we're gonna figure it out. It's 2 p.m. and I, I'm yawning. We're gonna figure it out. Um, so I just wanna say thank you for watching. Like this video. If you enjoyed this video, um, comment, share this video. Make sure you turn on the bell um, so you know when all videos drop. And um, let me know, comment below if you things you want to see. And uh, we'll keep it going. Anyways, I'm out of here, guys. Much love. Catch you soon. Ciao. Okay. 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 Okay.